Hello and welcome to AP Human Geography. Today we'll be talking about exclaves and enclaves. So let's write that down. Exclaves and enclaves. So I'm going to write that later. So these are exclaves. Exclaves are when a portion of a country, let's just say this is the mainland, M for mainland, and this is the exclave. Exclave. And that's the exclave. They're both separated by another. Is the exclave is separated by another country, which is between them, or an ocean, anything that can separate them. So, the reason why exclave is so important, and why they actually mean something, is the fact that the only way to go through them is, for example, in this example, to go in the ocean. So the exclave. From the mainland to the exclave, or through the other country, and usually it's through the other country. So this right here we won't have to worry about. So usually it just goes through the country, assuming that there's actually land around it. So this is an exclave. We scroll down, we have to add more. So we scroll down, and an exclave could also be, oh, gonna also be this is an exclave I need to extend the canvas <clears throat> let's just do this um. twenty five enough you're kidding me right There we go. No worries. Except maybe for the fact that that's white. Hmm. Um. Guess we're just gonna have to live with that. Okay, so let's move on to. Enclaves. Oh, I guess that actually makes it very nice. So. Exclaves and enclaves. Remember the difference. I think of exclaves as in like we say as an X that separate, you're separated. So I always think of it as an exclave. And you do that. Exclaves. So you can say the same thing down here. So an enclave, the end kind of like put a dot in the middle. Hey, the end is enclaved. The dot in the middle is enclaved by the end. So anyways, just remember that little N in there. So, will we actually explain this? Let me get this color. Control. Kind of fumble with my microphone right now. Okay, mainland. So, an enclave, let's just say, I don't even need a mainland, should be getting green right now. There we go. So, this is my country. This is my enclave. It's my enclave. And it is completely surrounded by another country. Yeah. Country one. So this is the this is the enclave, right? Smack in the middle of that country. This is the enclave. Okay? The reason why it's an enclave is because it's completely surrounded by country one. So let's write that down. Surrounded Surrounded. I don't know if I can write that down legibly. Surround, surround by country one. That's the best I can write it. So, that means that this little country in here, or states, doesn't matter, is completely surrounded by country one. Now, a penna enclave, a penna enclave, Yeah, something similar to that. That's a horrible enclave. Anyhow, so it's similar to that in the sense that, let's just say this is the enclave. I'm writing it like doing it that as in purpose. We'll just put pen. And let's say that this is country one. Country one. 
Now this penna enclaver pen does have multiple routes. Oh, and there's a problem with this. The con is the fact that the only way out, the only way out is to go like that, but through the other country. Anyhow, so this, you may think, okay, well, you can only go that way. You can only go through country one. But in reality, the way I'm describing this, this is all ocean. Just to say there's more land there, but this is all ocean. Like, this is exact, I'm using this kind of like Gibraltar. So in this sense, this is say this is Spain, this is Gibraltar. In this sense, this is a penna enclave because of the fact it has the option not only to go through country, go to country one, get to their homeland, but can also take the ocean route to get to their homeland. So they're not completely cut off because they have access to the rest of the ocean dwelling countries. All the other countries that have borders with the ocean. So, I need to resize again. Let's see. Okay. What's my extension here? Let's draw a line and split it. Let's go line. Anyway. So that's a penna enclave. Now what happens when you have enclave slash exclave? So enclave slash exclave. So basically what I was saying is what happens when their country is is it most possible to have, to have an exclave and an enclave? The answer is yes it is possible. So in this sense, let's get this color, blue. This is the actual country. Okay, this is country one. So let's say go back up here, get this red one. And this is the homeland, or mainland actually, not homeland. That's the mainland. And this is the eggs. I'm just putting eggs, this for egg, enclave, not exclave. So, this is country two. In the middle of all this mess, let's make it orange. More like yellow, actually. And there's another country. That surrounds this. Could be the same country. It could be country one. It could be. This could be anything. As long as it's all the same country. So this enclave. Enclave. Let me write that down. Enclave. Enclave. That's horrible. Enclave. I'm making up words now. This word does not exist. Fun. It's just my own entertainment. So, in this sense, this country is an enclave because it's completely surrounded by country two, but is an exclave because of the fact it's separated from the mainland. So they'd have to, in this sense, this is actually a problem for this enclave, this enclave, because this country would have to actually go like this to get all the way to the enclave. So that's crossing the border once here, border cross one, and border cross two, and border cross three. I crossed the border three times. Cross. Let me write this in. So, border. Why is it white? So, border. Cross equals three times. So that's a lot of times to be crossing the border. Or it could be actually two times if there wasn't a third country in there. But since there isn't, we're safe. Now there's one thing I'd like to explain before I go over ten minutes. You can end the video here, but I just would like to show you something. Look like news quickly. Now you can have even though there are no examples this you can have country one, this is the mainland. These are both the same country and they're both the same size. Now what happens with this? What exactly happens here when this is country one these are both exclaves of each other and they're both enclaves in this country? Pretty confusing. But that 
pretty much going to close this session. Now, there's going to be a second part of this. So, this is AP Human Geography on exclaves, enclaves, penna enclaves, and enclaves. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this session. And don't forget, love geography.